But how did you feel when those tweets started popping up? Hmm. I'll take a breath. <laughs> it's just, I'll take a breath. First of all, I felt very embarrassed. That's one. I felt down, sad, defeated, you know. There was a lot of things happening in my mind at that time. And even prior to that moment, I was, I've already been like in a weird mental state, you know. Please get closer. I've already been like in a weird mental space prior to that. So I was already like dealing with a lot. And then that was, I landed in Ghana, I didn't even have time to breathe and reset. And then I got hit with that as well. I remember when it happened, I was having my EP listening session. I actually had to leave in the middle of it because I couldn't, like, I broke down in the middle of, like, people that were around, you know. It was just a lot for me, you know. So I had to leave and go home. And like I said, I felt really embarrassed about all of it, you know. So, yeah. You left in the middle of the listening session? Yeah, I couldn't be there. Really? Yeah. I mean, we had finished listening to the songs okay, already. But you couldn't spend time. Yeah, so I did a little and then I had to, like, you know, leave the space. But why, why didn't you delete all of those tweets? Some of the tweets, honestly, I do not even remember. Like, I'm so like I'm walking. I keep getting there. Why didn't you, why didn't you delete them? But it's not like I'm walking around knowing that I said some things and they are there and then I don't care, you know. Some of them, I don't even remember tweeting them. And I, I look at some of them, I'm like, I, I said this, like, you know, and... Like I said, it's 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 terrible. There's no excuse for it, you know. So, yeah. But l- looking at somebody like Kidi, you know, Andy, a lot of the things, the values that we hold now, everybody, not just me, a lot of people, the values that we believe in strongly now, we stand by them. We had to go through certain things in life to arrive at this place that we are. At. Like a lot of things that we believe in, we had to all learn a lot of things that we grew up with, and relearn certain things to also know that this is not okay to say, this is not okay to do, you know, learn human compassion, basic human courtesy, kindness, lots of things that we are now. We weren't like that when we were kids. We had to grow. We had to grow to get here, you know, to believe in certain things, you know, so. And that was also like a different era of social media. It was like, it was different. You, You could... You could say anything and nobody, it didn't matter at that time, obviously. Like I said, no excuses, but there's a lot of things that have changed over the years for us to arrive at where we are, a lot of us, that way we think, the way we see life, our outlook and everything. So these, I, I just wish the people would not define me or judge me by who I was 10 years ago. I'm not even the same person I was a year ago, you know, so, yeah. This is Pits.